Hello, and welcome to a new series of Sick Gaming. Hello! This time we're playing the Stanley Parable. Yes, the Stanley Parable. What do you think it's about, Chris? Uh, I don't know. It's Obviously, I'm in an office right now. Yep. Like a busy one. Mm -hmm. uh, is it sort of like... Escape the Room sort of thing? Ish. Ish, okay. Is it like a mystery? Like you have to... Yeah, like, okay. yeah you have to... I'm guessing I'm Stanley. Yes. Okay, cool. Your name is Stanley in the game. Okay, um, fantastic. You're a fan of story-based games, aren't you? Yes, yes, I am. So, um, this is very much a story-based game. He mm. uh, has his own narrator. Okay. Taking your job. Yes, bastard. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, th I hope you'll enjoy it. Okay, and you've played always, this? Yeah, I've played this. Like, I finished it Okay, times. more than once. Is it, like, yeah. different endings? Like yes. Multiple, ah, multiple ah, endings. Ah, okay. Interesting. Depending on what you Is do. it depending on the choices you make? Pretty much. Sort of like a Telltale game. Kind of. Fantastic. But like a first person. I forgot to mention, I played the first episode of Series 3 of The Walking oh, Dead. Good? Very good. Awesome. I will I'm explain. Like, I'm going to get it when it's on sale. Probably. Yes, absolutely. I recommend I you do. But um, to the Stanley two. Parable, let's begin. Oh yeah, and i got to use a mouse and keyboard for this. Upgraded from a singular mouse. I know, I'm going up in the world now. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Ah, I was right. See? Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Right. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat Is that what I look like? Room 427. Yes. Oh, okay. He pushed buttons on Does he have a face? Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. <laughs> this is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every okay. year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Ah, oh, well, that's nice. That's good. I'm, I'm glad I'm happy. And then Ooh. one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Right. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour. <laughs> and he realized that not one single It's a bit of a long wait, isn't it? <laughs> Sitting there for an hour. No one so showed up to give him instructions, <laughs> call a meeting, or even say hi. Yeah. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid. Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. Mm. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, ah. he got up from his desk. Okay, sound like a proper office. newbie gamer. Um, I'm using the mouse, is that correct? Yes. And I'm assuming I use it some kind of key to go forward. W, w is it? W and then ASD. ASD to turn left, left, and right. Okay. So here's the offices. Interesting. How Ooh. wonderful. Stanley was alert. <laughs> Finally, this is Yo. great. He thought to himself, "This is what I've wanted." All. Oh, I've won! I got what I want. I got what I want. <gasps> did I wish or something? Did I, <laughs> did I have like a birthday um, office surprise, and then they said make a wish, and then I just wished all my employees away? <laughs> I think that's what happened. It's clearly, what happened? You're laughing because that's clearly not what happened. <laughs> okay, so I guess now you got to keep going down these corridors. Yeah. You know, oh, oh, I hate Mondays. Classical mug. <laughs> okay, ah. Uh, let's go down here. Mm. Oh, where is everyone? That's the question. Why, why are they gone? Even though I wanted this, apparently. Oh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, okay. he entered the door on his left. Can you ignore that? You can if you want. Okay. I I I just you follow the narrator. The, story. the narrator is good. Yeah. Does it, <laughs> I, does it go like off topic anyway. when you uh, go through the right door? Yes, he does. Okay. But, um, I'll, I'll I'll follow the narrator because I would have chosen left anyway because I am a lefty. Ooh, nice ficus in the corner there. Okay. Okay, we'll go to the left door. Door closed behind me. Sensible. Okay. Ooh, nice bit of artwork. Oh, that doesn't look dark and ominous. But let's go in there. 
Yet there was not a single person here <laughs> Is this why you chose the game for me? <laughs> Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer Okay. There. Yeah, sorry, there was just a message there. Was there. Tips for how not to get fired. And if that was a dig at me, Steve, then I'm not uh, your friend. No. I've only been fired from two jobs, all right? <laughs> Yes, using slides to ensure that employee is making you. Okay. <laughs> Everyone is unique. You, most of all. I'm, I'm just, I'm here for the recruitment. Clearly. And, and the training. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, pie chart. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite funny. Yeah. Oh, I like this. Do you know who made this game then? Um, um, a company called... Oh, it was at the beginning. No, it was, was it? Oops, I missed that. Uh, Galactic Cafe. <laughs> Galactic. Oh, Galactic Cafe, yeah. Yeah. Did they make much? Uh, Ooh, can I go in the broom closet? If you want. Oh my god, I can. Sweet. Stanley stepped into the broom <laughs> closet, but there was nothing oh. here. So he turned I... around and got back on okay. the train. Who's that voice? I do actually recognise the voiceover. Before. Um, I forgot his name. Please find out for me. I said upstairs to my boss, didn't I? So. Yeah. Let's go upstairs. I'm sure you can go downstairs. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked yeah, yeah, upstairs go. to his boss's right. office. It's very weird. Oh, bop, 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 bop. I wish I could walk upstairs that quick. Can you open that door? No. Don't be silly. Okay. Oh. Oh, how very grand. Yes. So you like, you know, the boss sits in this grand, um... <laughs> Staircase, we're just stuck in stupid offices, but there's nobody at the desk. So I may as well roll yourself in. With their own Windows 95 PC. Okay. Ooh. Quite a big room, eh? Yeah, quite big. Ooh, piano. Stepping into <laughs> his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human no one. life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? Oh, piano. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. What? 2845. 2845, okay. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Oh. 2845. It worked! Incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, <laughs> Stanley happened to implement the code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh, where's the passageway, Steve? Uh, have a look behind you. Ah! What's the secret, then? Curious. Ooh. I'm scared. Ooh. Okay. Oh, hello. There's a lift. There's a lift, and was there anything over there or not? No. No. Okay, let's follow the secret lift. <coughs> oh. Uh, you have to press the button. Oh, you have to press that, dude. Yeah, yeah, go. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very brave man, Stanley, just uh, going down this lift, you know. Yeah. Would you do the same if you woke up in this office and woke up? <laughs> I'd just wreak havoc if I woke up and everyone was gone. Hmm. Just smash. Would you be as happy as Stanley was? Because he did say he was really relieved. Yeah. Does Stanley not get on with anyone? Does... Well, he's happy to just stay in his room, I think. Right. And, what's he, that's, and he wants to be given orders. Does he get, ever go home? Descending deeper into the Ooh. building. Stanley realised he felt a bit peculiar. <laughs> it was a stirring of emotion in his chest, oh. as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for ah. long. Okay, let's do this. Oh, shit. <laughs> Stanley walked <laughs> through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Do you know what? I think it's something to do with some kind of mind control. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, I can escape. Or I can find out. 
Escape, find out. Escape, it's entirely find up out. to you. Oh, I'm going to find out. Excellent. We got to, got to know. Oh my god, we're in Cerebro. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Professor X is going to turn up any moment. Uh, press. The lights rose we are actually in Cerebro. With television <laughs> what horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. <laughs> Did he have the strength to find out? Hell yeah, I have the strength. I want to know what's going on. It's very weird. I mean, how deep does that go? How deep is this hole? There's this hole. So we've got a security camera button. Let's do it. No. Uh -oh. Whoa! jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Ah. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Well. Well. So we're all just. Well, why is there an error message on one of them? God knows. That mine. No. Oh. Shit. Yeah, it gives you the numbers. What was I? Four two seven. Wasn't yeah, it? you're to the left of it. There you go. There I am, employee. So that one by there. That's my empty office. Yep. Okay. You're not there anymore. No, well, obviously no one's there. <laughs> no one's around. Um, I believe to your left. It's more Bridge. Oh, okay. Cool. So are you intrigued so far? Very much so. Excellent. I've done my job. Yes, <laughs> you have. <laughs> cool. So, so do we have to find out what happens on the next one? No, um... Can we keep this going for a bit? Well, we're longer, still going a week. Fantastic. It's so the intro episode. Got another three minutes. Okay. Here we are. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this all time? All this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yeah, why not? <laughs> no. Oh. He refused. I do. Yeah. He couldn't accept no. it. His own life in someone else's control. Never. <laughs> it was unthinkable. Yeah. Wasn't yes. it? Yes. Was it even possible? I don't know. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? What's happening? Okay. Ooh. But here was the proof, <laughs> the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Ooh. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Right. For he would dismantle the controls once and for Ooh, would I? Let's find out on the next episode of Sick Gaming. Ooh. <laughs> I actually like this. Awesome. This is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I love the guy's voice. Let's see.